When the English philosopher John Stuart Mill was a boy, he made an alarming discovery, at least he was alarmed, that the world was soon going to run out of music. And if you only have a finite number of notes and you arrange them for a fixed length of time, there is mathematically only a fixed number of possible melodies, and he was worried that the world would soon run out of them. Now, this the story amuses us now because we know that at the time that Mill sunk into this uh, melancholy, uh, Brahms and Tchaikovsky hadn't even been born, to say nothing of entire genres of music that Mill couldn't have dreamed of, everything from uh, ragtime to reggae to jazz to uh, American Broadway musicals to rock and roll and so on. <laughs> It doesn't look like we're going to face a melody shortage anytime soon, but still, uh, we have to ask what went wrong with Mill's logic. Well, what went wrong is that uh, music is a combinatorial system, one where you have a fixed number of uh, elements or building blocks, in the case of music, a uh, certain number of notes. Let's say we restrict ourselves to even only eight notes in a scale, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Well, you've got eight choices for the first note of a melody, and then you've got uh, eight choices for the second note. So there's 64 ways in which a piece of music can begin only getting you to the first two notes. Then there are eight choices for the third, and eight choices for the fourth, and eight choices for the fifth. By the time you get to the first five notes of a piece, there are already 32,000 possibilities. And as you work your way through, it gets bigger and bigger. So eight notes down, uh, I'm already in. Uh, 16 million different co possibilities. Uh, as you work your way to a full musical piece, the numbers are almost beyond imagining. And I think the human mind doesn't isn't really good at grasping the sheer numbers involved. Combinatorial systems account for a lot of the complexity and diversity of the world. Atoms are combinatorial systems. Uh, molecules are combinations of the same 92 uh, chemical elements. All of the information to build a yeast cell or a human being comes from rearranging just the four bases of the DNA molecule. <laughs>